Hello everyone. It is a beautiful Saturday and uh, I just thought I'd show y'all my uh, my antique riding mower uh, that's actually been in my family since I believe the early 1960s. I'm not positive on that. I got a spider crawling up my selfie stick. There you go. It's all good. Uh, but I, I, this riding mower has been in my family since I believe the early 1960s. I can't pinpoint a year, but I, I, I truly believe it's it's the early 1960s. And uh, this is a uh, Aaron's Emperor uh, Model 3ML6. So uh, let's look at it. Well, here it is. Uh, some of y'all may remember seeing this from one of my uh, previous uh, live videos. But I wanted to do a video dedicated to this thing because it is so cool. And here's the original nameplate for the front that I have had to pull off because the brace on the center right here broke. The weld broke on this side and I'm using a tie strap to actually hold it, uh, hold it together until I can actually weld, weld that back. But there's the original nameplate. In the seat it goes, it's fine. And all four wheels, I actually had to change this wheel because the hub, the hub was messed up. But all four wheels have a uh, hub cap like that. My friend actually uh, was able to repaint these, so uh, it looks very good. This has got a, a four-speed with reverse, and there's the deck height right there. I believe that's the original seat. Uh, this is not the original motor because it was replaced, I believe, in the 80s. I'm not positive. But it's even got a little uh, spot for a trailer hitch back here, which is awesome. And my dad actually, this is actually a, a hood pin. Uh, my dad had it in, the, uh, in our storage building, saved from uh, whatever he might have been messing on uh, years ago. But I've got a little trailer that uh, little yard trailer that I can hook onto here. So uh, it's definitely awesome to know that my great grandfather purchased this thing uh, brand new and used it on his yard and I'm still using it is awesome. It's a definitely awesome feeling. But it runs very good. I'm actually gonna splice in a video that I took uh, earlier uh, or about mid, about this time last year to show my granddad. I'm gonna put that at the end of this video showing y'all the uh, the functions and how it works and everything. But let me see if this thing will start up. I was having issues with it cranking up, but it should crank up. One pull, I love that. Actually, I'm gonna go around the yard with it right now. comfortable. Got the clutch pedal right there. And the speed. Let's go on four. grounding out the spark plug wire so I don't have to mess with the throttle but yeah there it is it's not much but uh it's a piece of antique uh, machinery that my great-grandfather used so uh, this is definitely a family treasure right here I do plan on uh, fully restoring this thing uh, not to showroom condition by, by any means but just uh, repainting the deck white Repainting all the orange uh, if I can find replacement decals putting replacement decals on it and everything uh, This is not the original motor. Like I said uh, the, the original motor I believe was a six horse and I believe this is still a six horse, but it's not the original one But one thing I like about this one. I'll probably just keep it 
is uh, I can actually bolt up a starter right here. It's actually got the holes for it right here and the teeth are on the flywheel. I have, I have seen the teeth so I can actually put a starter on here. Well, there it is. There's the video on my uh, antique uh, riding mower um, that's been in my family uh, since, since since the early 60s. And uh, if you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one.